Zephaniah McLeod admits killing uni worker Jacob Billington, aged 23. 21-year-old Sean Bull murder. 24-year-old Paulius Petrosawanus. It's brown. It's not a crime. Busy, were you, Sergeant? There's a dead body in the neighbour's field. TJ! Okay, uh... Is the body Tommy Burke? You know what to do for a murder. Boy Wonder here is in charge. How oh, humiliating. Can you think of anyone who had a reason to want Tommy dead? No. Apart from the woman he left standing at the altar. Tommy seems to have been involved with both women. Oh. I'm watching you. I know you are. She was obsessed. Everyone thinks I killed Tommy. <laughs> Don't ask me what I think of you. I might not give the answer that you want me to. Very good. The plot pickings, Pete. Please just tell the truth. What are we meant to believe? Can I ask you a couple of questions? No. Oh. 23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr. Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. 36-year-old Darren Pencil, who just minutes later would be involved in a deadly confrontation, turned violent. In images shown to the jury but too graphic to be released publicly, the victim is seen being stabbed 18 times in just 25 seconds. Aaron Pencil admits possessing a knife but has pleaded not guilty to murdering Lee Pomeroy. Svensson Onga Kui were found guilty of Jodie's murder. Just a few months before she died, Jodie had visited 10 Downing Street with her scout group. Mr Young and launches a single vicious punch to the head. Mr. Young sustained a serious head injury and later died. Gill pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced at Salisbury Crown Court to four and a half years in prison.